Fourteen crunchy layers, creamy cheese. Marcus can't resist. The fourth decision that was uh, decided today was uh, in terms of the value-added tax when it came to excise as well as to uh, petrol and diesel. Uh, basically, the decisions that were made, there were multiple decisions made. I'm just combining all of them. Uh, the idea being to is to streamline the overall collection of the VAT. Uh, with this, there is no change in the rate, so there's no impact on the consumer. But uh, small changes like the time uh, within which the concerned uh, business houses should pay uh, the the VAT collected to the government as per the collections taken place. Uh, so the timings of that have been changed. Uh, earlier, for example, just giving you a small example, earlier, for example, in the petrol pumps, uh, they had a period of three months of reconciliation uh, for the VAT. So which means that if the VAT was collected on day one, uh, they could wait till day 100 to pay the VAT money collected by them already uh, to the government. Uh, to they would have about 100 days to pay to go, to pay that amount to the government. We have reduced that and we've made it into 30 days. So within a month's time, they have to reconcile and whatever VAT has been collected, they should submit it uh, uh, to the government exchequer. So deposit it in the government uh, account. So this kind of amendments have been made. Basically, the idea being to streamline the entire process of uh, VAT collection, uh, which will have no impact on the tax being levied on the consumer as such, but it will only ensure that uh, the efficiency of the collection and the timing of the collection is, uh, is streamlined.